Uh, I'm the managing director of FPA Group, and I'll be spending about the next half hour or so with you guys here this morning. This is a short session for me, so it's probably going to go pretty fast. It'll feel pretty fast to me. Um, I would encourage everyone to participate. So uh, this should be a pretty fun session. So let's talk about stories. And if you'll indulge me, I'd like to play a little bit of kind of a word association game, but maybe a little bit more of kind of a phrase association game. So first I'll just ask you, raise your hand if you're familiar with any of these, these two stories. Okay, look around the room. Keep your hands up, please. About everyone, right? If you had to guess, how old would you say you probably were when you heard those stories? Somebody just, just yell out a, a number. What age? Three, three. Two, three, four, I'm hearing. And yet, you could probably tell me a, a pretty good synopsis of those stories, I'd be willing to bet, right? How many of you are familiar with this story? Hold your hands up high, look around the room. Star Wars came out in 1977. Now, here's the, here's the word association I want you to play with me. Finish the sentence or the phrase, okay? May the force be with you. 1977, that movie came out, and yet most of the people in the room, without flinching, could finish that, right? Something D O O. Something D O O economics. Anyone? Anyone? Voodoo economics. Okay? This one's not quite as old. I thought actually more people would remember that one, but it just depends on the crowd in the room, right? Any Matrix fans in here? Okay? Not as many Matrix fans. Interesting. I find it interesting that the older, this is not by accident, by the way, the older movies, more people remember. That's not an accident, right? The people that make these movies understand what makes a good story. There's a reason you can remember something that's 30 or 40 years old, but if I asked you to tell me the central theme of a meeting you sat in a year ago, how many of you could give me a pretty good synopsis of what happened in a random meeting if I just looked through your calendar and said, tell me about that meeting a year ago? It's just random. How many of you by show of hands feel confident that you could tell me the story of what happened in that meeting. See one hand, two hands, not a lot of hands, right? So I want you to think about, whoops, this thing has a life of its own. Um, I want you to think about as we go through this, how you can use the things that I'm gonna talk about in business storytelling, okay? The same concepts that are used to tell these stories that we remember from when we were little kids can be used in stories that you tell for business, okay? Les Brown said this, and it reminds me of one of the very first elements of storytelling, which is why. If you understand and communicate your why, and you can communicate it in a way that engages people, I'm gonna go through the different elements of storytelling, but I can tell you, if you have that why down, all the rest of it will fall into place, okay? That why makes people invest themselves in your story. Anybody here a Breaking Bad fan? Okay, Walter White is a meth producer and dealer, right? And yet, somehow, the people that crafted that story get us to care about Walter White. So think about projects that you might have, or you might have a presentation that may not all be wonderful positives. There may be some negatives. Maybe there's a big investment involved in some capital project, right? But if you sell the why behind it, you can get people to like that project even if it's got some warts like a meth dealer, right? Any Dexter fans in here? It's a serial killer but he's the hero of this show, right? That people binge, have binge watched, right? Pardon me? He only kills bad people. So, see? And does, does that make you like him? It's a redeeming quality, right? 
if you have a project and you're presenting the, it to people who are just looking at the dollars and the cents and possibly the negatives of it, if you can find that little thing that makes them think, ah, oh, but gosh, it's so, it, it'll make our processes so much better. It'll make us so much more efficient, right? If they fall in love with that, that carries you a long way. It cures a lot of ills, right? So what's your one thing, your why, right? I talk about, you're gonna hear me talk about a lot, of, you already have about a lot of movies, TV shows, because they're stories that are told really well, and they're lessons that we can learn that we can implement in business. So the why is what I'm talking about, and I think about that city slickers where he told them one thing, one thing, right? You need to figure out whatever it is in your story that you're trying to communicate, the one thing should be your why, not your what. The what may be our $10 million capital project for this great new software implementation. That's the what. But what's the why? Is it gonna help us achieve our corporate vision, our mission? You have to figure out that why before you even talk about any of the other stuff that I'm about to jump into. But I wanna give you some nuts and bolts so that when you walk out of here, you can say, okay, I didn't just get entertained for a few minutes. I got some stuff that I can actually implement and use in, in my work.